Kia ora, ko Sharon Holt, tōku ingoa. My name's Sharon Holt, and today I thought I'd give you a sentence structure which might be useful for you. I'm learning, always learning, and I'm doing a course at the moment at Te Wānanga o Aotearoa, and uh, one of the things that I've learned is a way of saying, when you're um, learning your pepeha, your whakapapa, and you're researching about that, if you don't already know what something is, which can be the case for Pākehā, particularly like me, and sometimes for Māori as well, they haven't done the research, they're not sure. So this came up in terms of my waka. So kaore means, in this situation, means don't. If I just say kaore by itself, or kao for short, that means no. But when it's got kaore o and then the rest of it, this means I don't. So this is kaore o, and you could say aho here. Kaore o e mohio ana. So mohio means no, as in k n o w, and e ana is just around it to say the present at the present time. So I don't know at the present time. Ko wai toku waka, and that is the name of my waka, my waka. And this is about the name of something. Kaore o, I don't, e mohio ana, no, kowai, the name of toku waka, my waka. And then we've got another sentence after that, kei te, so this is the present tense, rangaho, and that means research, tonu a o. So tonu um, after something like this is meaning keeping on doing it, still doing it, continuing to do it. So this means I'm still researching. I am currently still researching. Kaori o e mohio ana ko wai tōku waka kei te rangahau tonu o. I don't know the name of my waka, I'm still researching. So that could be useful for you in something if you're doing any studies in Te Reo Māori and you don't already know the name of something. When I'm doing my um, pepeha, I can say the things that I do know and then instead of my waka, which is what I'm doing at the moment, I'm saying this sentence. So I found that quite helpful and I thought I would share it with you. Ka kite.